Okay, so this is a model of the ovary, and as we're looking at the ovary, the goal is to determine what are the changes that are happening inside of the follicle during the ovarian cycle. So we start off with the tiny, tiny little follicles, and these little things that you see here are the primordial follicles, so you see them in two different locations. The primordial follicles are going to be under the influence of follicle-stimulating hormone in order for them to grow larger. The primordial follicle will grow into a primary, which isn't actually represented on the ovary, unfortunately. Once we go from primary, we then go into secondary, and those are the things that you're seeing here. So the secondary follicles, as you can see, they will start to develop some cells around the outer edge. Now these are the cells that are going to help produce the estrogen that is necessary during this follicular phase. As the follicles continue to grow and develop, they are ultimately going to get larger and larger, so as you see, they continue to expand, ultimately until we can get to the largest follicle possible, which would be our tertiary follicle. Inside of this tertiary follicle, you'll have the secondary oocyte, which is what you see right here, and this is showing you that this is going to be the thing that is ovulated out of the follicle, so the secondary oocyte will leave the follicle and it will leave the ovary to go out towards the pelvic cavity. Whenever this secondary oocyte leaves this follicle, this follicle transitions into the corpus luteum. So now it's empty, there's not a secondary oocyte in here anymore. This corpus luteum is yellow because of the cholesterol, and this is going to secrete the progesterone. So progesterone is very, very important in taking care of the luteal phase of the ovarian cycle. After this corpus uh, luteum has secreted all of its progesterone. If there is no implantation, it will then form into scar tissue called the corpus albicans. So you can see that here or here or even here. So this is representing for you corpus luteums that are no longer functional. They have now become scar tissue, corpus albicans, which just basically means the ovarian cycle is over and are gonna start all over again for the next month.